Welcome to the To Be Human podcast, episode 26 on sanity. So today I'm going to talk about, you know, sanity, you know, mental, I guess, sanity and all that, which uh, is quite fitting since uh, recently I had an incident where I basically lost my say because of a thing that happened in Pixel Gun that I don't really want to talk about again because it was such a dumpster fire but um, yeah um, uh, it's definitely something that's definitely drained my say to zero and like, basically, I love the, the day immediately after my say was just not there and for, like, the start of stream, like, the next day, like, it was very hard to, like, be my regular self, but I eventually <laughs> returned to normal I think like midway through once I stopped like focusing on it but um sanity it seems to be something that's on average really being tested these days because of a lot of life factors and all that it seems like People are more on the slightly insane side or, you know, actually insane, you know, like, mentality is truly being tested. Not that it's, you know, wrong to be technically a little bit insane, just, like, is, uh, can be concerning that, you know, everyone's sanity is lower than probably what used to be the norm and yeah it feels like that could cause problems you know down the line with everyone saying generally low it feels like inevitably could lead to bad things so mental health is a key thing but I've already you know talked about I think uh mental health during an episode so yeah again this is a more specific topic thing even though it does directly I guess relate to mental health but yeah again I guess I've got to do every single small idea as well focus an episode on everything just because of the way I am and yeah again I feel like doing multiple like specific topics overall will be good in the long run so even if individually it doesn't make too much of a difference it's hopefully paving the way for hopefully greater success overall as a whole but anyway I'm getting a bit sidetracked uh, uh, so sanity is generally like getting lower it seems although it's hard to measure something that is related to the brain which e even if we understand stand like the the brain function more that there's still a lot we don't I guess know about the brain because it, it's like a hard thing to you know analyze especially when everyone is different has you know different mentalities it'd be hard to directly measure something like sanity like be very hard. I guess phasmophobia is a game that cracked the code. Like, uh, here's how we calculate sanity. 
but jokes aside, like, it, it would be something that's, I feel like it's technically something subjective to quantify, like, what counts as zero percent sanity, because technically I feel like even if you're technically fully insane, there must be at least one r rational thought or one rational idea somewhere left in your brain, even if you're supposedly completely insane and can't, you know, think normally. Like, I, I feel like 0% sanity doesn't exist unless you're dead, <laughs> because you can't have sanity if you're dead. So, like, I, I, I'm just saying that um, it, it'd be hard to quantify something that is kind of unquantifiable, and yeah, but yeah, in general I think it's best, you know, to try and uh, keep up sanity because you don't want to do something you don't want to do and if you're insane you're more you're more likely to probably do the things you probably wouldn't do while you're sane so yeah so yeah and uh, mental health is important keep a I don't know sanity check or something like Maybe a good thing is like a self analysis and like, you know, another step beyond that is peer analysis. So, um, you know, get yourself to think about your own sanity and get a friend to help you and, you know, see if, you know, if you're the right amount of sane or too insane. I feel like I'm maybe leaning on the too insane side, but like, what can you do sometimes? Like, I, I, you know, probably won't be going to any doctors or anything because Doctors could potentially cost mine, yeah, again, that would be more on, you know, my family, because I don't have money, so, yeah, it's not exactly something I want to burden my family with, so, <laughs> so, I mainly just got to keep myself, I guess, sane, but for those who have, I guess, the resources, maybe keeping a track of mental health and sanity is, would be good, and, you know, could help, you know, hopefully the world in uh, general, and yeah, but yeah, uh, not much else to say about sanity other than, being sane is, I guess, good, but also it's sometimes fun to have crazy thoughts and ideas, like, because it can, you know, be, you know, a way of expression, creativity and all that, so yeah, I guess the main thing is, you know, just, uh, I guess, keeping it in check, you know, the, the right amount of insane, <laughs> the right amount of crazy and madness, because what's life without a bit of madness? I sound like God done Wilfred Warstarch, or you know, the Colonel. <laughs> What's life without a bit of madness, chap? <laughs> like, I mean, he's not wrong. 
I mean, maybe Wilford, you know, once he becomes Wilford, may take it a bit too far, but, you know, at least you'll have fun before your inevitable end, so, yeah, like, so, I guess, uh, sometimes, you know, there's a price for good things. So yeah, but yeah, e e either way, uh, yeah, not much else to say about Zanuck, um, you know, do what you will, like, I can't dictate your life, I'm just here to talk about topics to hopefully highlight different issues and what I think could potentially help the world. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fool. But at least, you know, I try to do something rather than nothing. Even if it is just talking, like, even if it's just words and information coming out of, you know, my mouth into sound, uh, like, hopefully it can help, who knows, but uh, either way, I think that'll be the end of uh, this podcast episode, so, yeah, I guess until the next one. Peace, thank you, and goodbye until the next podcast episode.